up to Mountain Dew. And welcome back to Redneck Snack, where life is too short to be serious. Especially when you're drinking hard Mountain Dew. Make sure you drink responsibly and be 21 years of age or older. If not, you might get in trouble. All right, kids, just because it's Mountain Dew doesn't mean you should drink. Yeah, you address it. Yeah, after that, you address it to kids. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, well, who knows who, who, who will get their hands on this uh, righteous dew. But anyways, four different flavors of hard Mountain Dew. I've been waiting to do our YouTube review with Michael on this. I already did a brief video on TikTok slash Instagram. I don't really remember. I really talked about each flavor. Um, but if I didn't, it gives me more of a chance to talk about it here. So we've got cherry watermelon for whatever reason. Uh, we could have probably done, you know, I would have preferred live wire or voltage over that. That does sound but, good. But we, we rolling with it. Baja and regular. We're saving Baja and regular for last. I can already tell you what's the best, what's not the best. And uh, we're kind of steering our video towards that. Um, and I think the expectation should be that the two best are the two that people have their eyes on. So, anyways, hopefully they'll have, like, a pack that, like, features the two best flavors down the line. Or, you know, they'll have tall boys so you can just get those. But this is a nice pack to start with. Like, it's something good to kind of, you know, try the flavors and let yourself loose on things. So Do they not have tall boys? I think they're coming out. With I could have sworn their advertisements look like tall boys. Yeah, I, I'm not real sure. So I, I guess this is probably what they're starting with, but I don't know. Their marketing is all over the place with this. So, anyways, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. I hope you can see this good. This is going to be our thumbnail, so we're going to smile real quick and just look strange at you. So, again, four flavors. Michael, opinions? I'm so excited. When when this was first speculated, I think the first news article came out in August of last year, so 2021, and it didn't even look real. Like they were just like, "Oh, Hard Mountain Dew's coming," and I said, "Uh uh, uh uh, you can't, you can't do this to me. You can't pull my leg." But here we are sitting with it. And when they announced it was only coming out in three states, I was heartbroken because I don't have the time to go and get it. But Matt does. I would say I had a lot of time, and I made the time. And now we're sitting here with it. I am so excited, like beyond anything, especially for these two. I mean, I think the watermelon sounds interesting. I've never been a big fan of black cherry, but you know we're still going to try them all. But I'm so ready for this. Yeah. I mean, I every time someone sees this, they kind of like, wow, I'm bewildered. This stuff exists. I'm going crazy. I'm... I want to drink this. I'm like, yeah, you do. And then, you know, the responses that people give have been mixed. And quite honestly, I'm just going to be straight up. It's zero sugar. That's just how it is. You know, you can't, you, you can fill your body with sugar and alcohol all you want. You, you can do that if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. You can pour Mountain Dew in your whiskey. That's cool. But the reason this doesn't have sugar is because we we know what's gonna happen. You're gonna black out. So, you know, I, I I admit that I'm cool with them making it zero sugar. And for what I've gotten out of it, I enjoyed it. Again, we're gonna reevaluate. But some people are like, ah, I can't get that zero sugar flavor out of my mouth. Some people are like, oh, this is pretty good. So it just depends. It's not something that you'll be crazy about, but it's something that you know you can get drunk to if you want to. Yeah, better than just putting vodka in your Mountain Dew or something. But yeah, I mean, you ain't got such a strong alcohol flavor, but you get, you still get to get turned. So, I don't know. But drink responsibly. Yeah, drink responsibly, my friends, and don't be uh, under 21, even though I know plenty of people who are yeah. under 21 that will probably get their hands on us. Your time will come. Be patient. Well, I don't know. We, we'll have to see how long this takes around. Let's hope forever. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the hope. Hopefully it'll be so successful we'll start touring around with other flavors. That would be insane. Hard white out. See it. Oh boy. 
Hard pitch black. Pitch black. Ooh, that favorite. would be a good one. Pitch black is my favorite. Hard so. voodoo. That would be interesting. Like if they did like a, a voodoo version of Hard Mountain Dew specifically, like its own thing, mm -hmm. when you're trying to guess what you're drinking, then you're kind of getting drunk because you're like, <laughs> I can't figure this out. The speculation. Oh, again. I'm on my I'm on my tenth drink and I still can't figure this out. And then you just bouncing around the walls. Mm -hmm. See, it's another thing about why it's good not to have sugar in this thing is you're not bouncing up and down the walls while you're drunk. So at least that is true. At least be drunk and mellow, not drunk and all over the place. You know? mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with black cherry. And then we're gonna roll through. I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out though. That that's better. Yeah, this is the one I'm the least that's excited better. about. So now I haven't gotten to see the colors of these. That's really cool. It's like a a light pink. That's interesting for a, a cherry dew, which is usually signified by dark red, as the can is. Oh, you didn't get a look at the can. Here's a good look at. Bilbo the Clown, even though it's a bear, it has a red nose, so it looks like a clown. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome to Ronald McDonald's. <laughs> that one's interesting. It's probably, and I, I, I didn't say this before, but it's probably one of my favorite artificial cherry flavored things, which is, it says a lot for this whole pack. To start out with one of my least favorite things, um, I hate artificial cherry. I've had some artificially flavored cherry things. You know, I've had two Mountain Dew seltzers that had cherry in it, and I hated them, but then they kind of grew on me. This, I drink it, I'm like, I don't necessarily hate it. It's, it, the seed is planted for it to grow on me right then and there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's not something I love, but it's something I can just vibe with. Yeah, it's, um, I never have liked black cherry personally, but it doesn't, it doesn't bite as hard as other black cherry flavored things. Um, like the black cherry, uh, kickstart. Like that, I always thought was just way too strong. But this does a pretty good job. It's a little lighter, and I can't, t I can't hardly taste the alcohol in it. Speaking of Kickstart, I bought every can that they currently have. I'm gonna do a review on that too. I guess. I'm just going crazy over trying to try every dew that's out there. So yeah, my, do it. the only thing I don't have right now is Cherry Amp. I gotta find Cherry Amp. It's out there. It's You'll just, find it. You'll find it's it. It's elusive. But yeah, I, you know, I, I think I've given this like a seven and a half or a seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. It's or fair. Six and a half to seven, somewhere in there. Well, that's, a, that's a fair drink. Yeah. Would you want to give me ice, sir? More ice. <laughs> now we're moving on to one of the, uh, one of Medusa's strings of hair. Because the snake looks like it would be coming out of Medusa's head right now. I mean, just look at that thing. I mean, and you know what doesn't make sense with all this? So... You know, you got a bear with black cherry. That makes sense. But the snake with melon, you know, Major Melon just had this Sergeant Melon dude. Now you're doing a snake for the melon hard dude. I'm just, it, it confuses me. Stop confusing me, Mountain Dew. Just put the same guy you got on the regular dude. You know what I mean? But Yeah, I think they're trying to follow the theme of, like, animals on them or whatever. I think they're just trying to make it look vicious. It's scary. It's scary. Because it's hard, Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's hard. I'm trying to give you uh, visions, illusions, fear. Something like that. Darkness. Now, this has a, 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 a little bit darker complex complexity. I'm saying that wrong, but... Complexion. From complexion. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm, it smells sweet. It does. So, it doesn't smell know. quite as strong as Major Melon, though. Yeah, you got a point there. Mm -hmm. It's still a very strong flavor. Mm -hmm. Albeit not quite like Major Melon in the fact that it's like a Jolly Rancher. 
It's still yeah. very sweet. I mean, it's a zero sugar. and Major Melon was not zero sugar. But they do have zero sugar options. That is true. I, you're right. But the one we did, the better of them. Now, the big growing theme here is you don't really taste the alcohol. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the danger. How much more dangerous would it be if they put sugar in there? Really dangerous. Well, and if I recall from my dietetics classes, uh, sugar increases the absorption of alcohol, mm -hmm. like the rate. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like, it'd be twofold. It would taste better and you get drunker faster. So pretty much not a good place to put yourself into. So again, kudos to Mountain Dew for not just jumping off the deep end with this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, you know, I kind of feel the same way I feel about cherry even though i think i slightly like this more mm -hmm. i would still put like a seven and a half just because it's decent but it's got an odd flavor you know watermelon's not one of those flavors i look at and say oh i love this like i do really enjoy watermelon sour patch kids but outside of that i don't feel like i look at watermelon flavored things and say okay cool i love it i'm all for it but yeah the only watermelon or melon flavored thing in general that isn't like candy but and watermelon itself i really liked was fanta melon frosty bring it to america please fanta melon frosty yeah i think i've shown you what it looks like um i had it at disney world cool. at uh their club cool and it's so good it's so good but it's different it it kind of takes a, a more bitter sweet take on it but it's really good. Uh, you can't really find it in America, but I really like it. And if they ever bring it, I'll be the number one consumer of it. Kind of like Fanta Green Apple. I was a big fan of Fanta Green Apple when it was around. But I haven't seen it in a long time. And now they're jumping into making zero sugar flavors. For whatever reason, I don't know. But, I mean, the dragon fruit, I had dragon fruit Fanta. And it was good. Um, Especially for some of the zero sugar, but mm -hmm. I don't know. They're doing a mystery flavor, zero sugar. Don't have a sugar option for it. So yeah. I don't know if that's going to be a trend for them where they're just making zero sugar drinks or what. I'm scared that might be the future of just the soda industry. But Don't take it from us Mountain Dew. You can keep doing this, but keep regular Mountain Dew with sugar in it, please. It's, and thank you. It's a scary future. I know. But hopefully that's hundreds of years away. Yeah. So. But back to it, I'm going to give it seven and a half because I thought it was better than cherry, but it doesn't have the poppin' flavor like uh, Major Melon does. Although Major Melon, I think, is a little too sweet, in my opinion. Like, at least to drink regularly. Yeah. So, and I feel like this one kind of took the opposite approach. So maybe if they found, like, the sweet spot right in the middle of the two, they could have something that's really, really good. Hey, but I, it's not bad. I feel like I've seen a lot less of Major Melon. Like, I feel like they... With the release of Spark, I feel like they might be starting to phase out Major Melon. I have to do my research on that. I can't guarantee it. But if you're a Major Melon fan, if you see Major Melon out there, you might want to grab it. Because I don't know if it's going to be a long-term thing anymore. They, they, they definitely don't really have cans of it anymore. Uh, but you'll you'll find bottles. Like It's crazy to say that, but like before Spark came out, all you could find was Major Melon, and it was just... Yeah, I couldn't even find Voltage or Code Red, because a lot of gas stations moved those out because they really wanted to promote it. But Major Melon, it surprised me that they just came out with this new flavor out of nowhere, and it was a nationwide thing. They are pushing really hard. I mean, it had as many shelves as regular Mountain Dew and, like, gas station coolers, which blew my mind because regular Mountain Dew is just far superior. Yeah, so I don't know, but... I'm kind of urging myself to go get one more. Just one more if it's still out there. All right, so cacao. It's an eagle, by the way. This is your regular Mountain Dew. And uh, this is where I get really excited, but not really drunk, because I'm not drinking a bunch of this. Yeah, I'm really excited, too. It's great. And you, What's really cool, I haven't seen the colors of these. What, what were you saying? I was going to say, you, you've, you've hyped this up, so... I'm excited. Oh yes, your classic Mountain Dew color. They got this one right. In more ways than one, I can get it. It smells like Mountain Dew too. Mmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. It's 
Mountain Dew. It is Mountain Dew. But you can taste the alcohol a little bit more in this one than the other two. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but like you know you're drinking something that's, that's hard rather than just regular with that one. It's very good. I really like it. Um, I'd probably give it like an eight and a half. Yeah. I, it's definitely a huge upgrade from black cherry and watermelon. Mm -hmm. And it really does hit the spot. And again, I, I can see where you're coming from. I would probably say eight and a half as well. It's not perfect, but it's good. Yeah. And yeah, it leaves good. room for us to really enjoy Blast. One of the best flavors Mountain Dew ever came out with. It was one of the first ones they came out with. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's only right that they made it hard, like put it in this pack with all yeah. the rest of them. And I think this is the thing I'm most excited about because if you go watch all our other Mountain Dew reviews, I think I mentioned Baja Blast in almost every single one of them. And you know what's fun? Well, we, we reviewed bottled Baja Blast, but I've never done a Taco Bell Baja Blast review. Didn't you do the Freezy or whatever, the frozen one? Uh, I don't think I've tried just the Baja one, but mm -hmm. I've had a couple Baja ones that had stuff in them. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. You know, I, I really should get around to it, and I think I will at some point. I mean, it's not going anywhere, so. That is true. It would be a real shame if it was. But... And, you know, the, the cool thing about this, though, and you can almost kind of tell that Baja was thrown in there last minute. Um, but when they initially announced it was going to be this, this, and this, and then they just went left field on us all and said, but wait, there's more. Yeah, I remember they made the Instagram post. They said, and you thought we forgot about you. And it was a picture of the Baja can. And that was when it got super exciting. Yeah. God, it, it was a game changer. Because, you know, and I don't even know why I didn't feel any weariness about it just being these three flavors. Like, I should have been like, well, and I think maybe in my head I was like, well, I'm excited for Mountain Dew, but the other two flavors, uh. But when this came in, it was a game changer. It was like, I gotta get this. And I gotta get it now. So, it's just like... It's a game changer, and I'm telling you, we're going to like it the best. You're going to like it the best. Everyone flocks for this one. So, Man, he's calling it for me already. He just told me I'm going to like it the best. I'm so. calling the shots here. Oh, I love that color, too. It's a little lighter than your typical Baja, but it is beautiful. Mm. Such a beautiful color. It smells just like Baja, too. Mm. But does like, it taste like Baja? It smells like Clorox, but I guess that's what Baja Yeah, I mean, I've had people tell me that Baja is just, uh, it's just drinkable Windex, so, you know. But always has been one of my favorites, so let's go for it. Definitely the strongest alcohol profile, but definitely the best. See, I think yes, but no. I think it kicks, like, normal Mountain Dew more than the other three do. You know, kind of like you remember you talking in the last video or two videos ago about that, that I Mountain know, I'm Dew. Good, like, I'm getting a good buzz of alcohol here. <laughs> but like, you know, that, that Mountain Dew flavor profile you think mm -hmm. was just kind of hinted in every Mountain Dew. I think this one hits that better than the other three. Like, it, it, it's more reminiscent of what Mountain Dew is known for than the other three, even more than the original um, part one. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's what... It's got a stronger Mountain Dew flavor, and we top it off with what Baja brings to the table. Mm -hmm. So, I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I would give it a 9. But, I would give it a 9. But it, it, it's definitely clearly the best one. Like, I've had it yet to hear anyone say that it, there's a, a better one of the four. So, I don't know. You can have a hot take. You can argue with me about it. but And you can be wrong. It's all right. Yeah, you're going to be wrong. I mean, I'm going to go to my grave knowing I'm right, knowing that the best one is the Baja. So. I mean, there's a reason Baja has stuck around for so long. And, you know, they, they've done such a good job marketing it, having it always available at Taco Bell, but introducing it every summer in cans and bottles. 
to kind of boost those sales and whatnot. So they've always kind of, they've always had it available, but they've always kind of just thrown it at us to keep the hype up because Baja truly is like, it's not my number one, but I think just in terms of everything they've ever done with it, it's the best Mountain Dew besides the original. Yeah, like it's... obviously the original has the longevity, but the way they market it, the way they kind of tease us with it and the way they brought it here, I do think overall, it's the best Mountain Dew that Mountain Dew has ever come out with other than the original. Yeah, it's the most legendary spin-off Mountain Dew flavor that they have. The most legendary. You've seen it everywhere. You've seen it just go miles ahead of everyone else in terms of how they've marketed it, what they've done with it. And it's just, you know, when you have a promotion almost every summer that's just focused on okay Baja but it's not just Baja Blast you've got you know these other flavors that come with it and it's like okay this is okay how does this work with Baja Blast so yeah definitely definitely very exciting stuff and um you know this summer's gonna be fun with the exclusive flavors from Casey's and um Circle K and then you've got um Pineapple Dew which I know you're not excited for, but I'm it's... ready to put it aside with my burst. I'm ready to try them together. So yeah, no, definitely. Like I'll say, I'm not excited about pineapple Mountain Dew, but I'm still here for it. And like, I wasn't excited about black cherry. Still here for it. Let's let's see what you got, Mountain Dew. And then always here. And then mango Dew too. That sounds really good. So. We, we are definitely going to have our eyes open. Because Mango Fanta was really good. I don't know if you ever had Mango Fanta. No. You see, Fanta, they did the same thing that Mountain Dew is doing now, where they had more flavors coming out, except that was what Fanta was known for, is having those fruit-flavored sodas. Like, Coke did a really good job for a while, but they just all disappeared. I really liked Mango Fanta. It was really good. Really liked Green Apple Fanta. It was really good. Uh, the fruit punch wasn't very good. The blue raspberry wasn't very good. The pineapple, which you can still find regularly, it just, it's not bad, but it doesn't do it for me. They got rid of, I think they're like iconic new flavors and they might not have marketed it well. You didn't uh, like fruit punch? Wait. I know. I did not like the Fanta fruit punch that much. Hey, what did we, oh, we tried Crush. Yes. Crush. That was amazing. The Crush fruit yeah, punch was amazing. Yeah, fruit punch. Oh. That was, that was, that was iconic. Mountain Dew could never. I'm just kidding. They have. That Cyclone, oh, and R.I.P. Cyclone at this point, but Cyclone slash, what was it called? What did they rebrand it from? Was it Supernova? Whatever fruit, oh, no. I can't. Not Supernova, it was something. Um, but either way, Cyclone, man. So that was the Speedway exclusive. Speedway was bought by 7-Eleven, and now all the Speedways are either transferring over to be 7-Eleven or they're still Speedway, but they're phasing it out. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I kind of like thought, should I go? Should I go? And I'm really itching to go because I think it's it's the end, unfortunately. But it kind of makes sense seeing that Casey's is getting like a, a fruit punch, a tropical punch flavor. So I expect that it might be similar, but I think it's going to be a more tropical taste rather than what I got from Speedway Cyclone, which was kind of, I felt like it had a, a good cherry burst to it. So, But yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, Mountain Dew, I, I think they do a good job marketing all the stuff, but it is still hard to keep up with all those flavors. Like, remember I was talking about, what's the Sam's Club exclusive? That is... Uh, Monsoon. Right? Monsoon, yeah. Yeah, see, that one, when it came out originally, it wasn't a Sam's Club exclusive. Yeah, it was a Game but, Fuel. Yeah, it was, a, it was, it was like the original Game alive. Fuel, and it was for Modern... No, no, it was for Black Ops 2, I believe, or something like that. And I, I had a bottle of it that was unopened. My mom threw it away recently, which mm. was really sad. But I remember saying this was one of the best, and they... Got rid of it, but they didn't actually. I had no idea that it was at Sam's Club, and I work right across the street from a Sam's Club, so it's like I think I need to get in there and have some because that was a really good flavor. But they they keep a lot of them more on the down low, so hopefully they can communicate that really well so that I can be made aware of things like that because that was good. Um, they've thrown a lot of good flavors to the wayside, 
like Black Label was really good. And then following uh, Black Label was successful. So a year later they came out with White Label and Green Label, which was also really successful, especially because White Label was very similar to White Out, which is my favorite, so. Well, someone said that Black Label, someone said this, that the Applebee's exclusive Dark Berry kind of was like that. To me, and I don't know what Black Label tastes like, but to me, the Applebee's thing tasted more of like a mixture of Foltage and Blackout. Like, not black, pitch black. Like, it tasted mm -hmm. like you fused those two together. But that was okay. The same with, like, the berry line, the monsoon. I feel like that's an okay flavor. I mean, it's to each their own. But I felt like that was just okay. But, you know, that's... If you like it, they got it at Sam's Club, so... Yeah, no, and I work right next to one, so... But, definitely, this was a winner. I feel like this is, like, the, the pinnacle moment for Mountain Dew. I hope they don't slow down after something like this, but... This opens the doors wide. Open yeah. For them. All kinds of things. Hard come. white out. Let's see it. So, I wonder if they'll, like, do, like... Can you make a Mountain Dew flavored weed? Uh, well, I couldn't try it with you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, you work it. No, I'm allergic to THC. Dang. Well, I've only had weed a few times, so I couldn't really tell you what the difference between each thing. Stick to soda. Just stick, stick to drinks. It'd be good. You never know what dude's got planned. Rockstar did a hemp seed. Uh, oh, that is true. I remember that. Yeah, they just released it. I, I, I like the passion fruit one a lot. That's kind of why I want to see the U.S. get a passion fruit do. Um, I just I feel like it vibes well. But I don't know. It's just like... When I drank those hemp seed energy drinks, it's kind of like a fusion of, okay, I've got the energy to go out about what I'm calm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm relaxed, but I've got the energy to do. So it was definitely a nice change up for a, like an energy drink. Mm -hmm. I definitely can see the market for that with Mountain Dew in the future. Maybe not right now, but I can see them putting hemp seed in there. So yeah, we'll see what they do. Now, does hemp seed have THC in it or? No idea, to be honest. You might not be able. To it's do never, it. it's never come up. Uh, it's not, not been a problem. <laughs> so, but back to the point. This, this was great, and I hope to see they do more. And also bring it to Virginia. We it, need it here. It's coming. It's and, coming. and introduce Tall Boys because, to be honest, I would like to just buy the original and the Baja. And if I could just buy some tall boys of it, it'd be a lot better. But still, really cool. Get the big pack with everything in it. Yeah. So right now, I forgot we had we didn't even say that it's only in three states, which I feel like you know by now: um, Tennessee, Iowa, and Florida. So if you take well, if you take a week long trip to Florida, you could buy a pack and enjoy it. That is true. Of course, you're probably flying down, so you can't bring it back. You enjoy it. Well, I ship it back. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, you could sneak it. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Very good stuff. So, hopefully you enjoyed this long review, but it was meant to be long. So, anyways, that's where we're rolling, and uh hope you come back. That's right. All right. See you around, and uh, try Hard Mountain Dew, but drink responsibly. <laughs>